Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Romance of the Three Kingdoms 14, another series GG. A uh, funny thing happened to me in our last session, after we went off the air, so to speak. As I sometimes do, I goofed around and just played through another turn without stopping to do my normal domestic -y stuff. I'm not... I gotta stop myself from doing it. I'm not doing it to, um... To cheat, I just, I, I, I do it out of like, ah, I want to see how quick I can do a thing. Something pretty interesting happened, though. We ordered, um, we ordered Sal Ren's unit to retreat. And, uh, something pretty unexpected happened. I managed, well, we are going to be able to successfully take, uh, most of Liu Ji's cities here. And eventually, we'll see uh, Xi Ji actually try to take Wu Ling, but only after I'd already attacked it and knocked down its troop count. So, like, they seem to want this ludicrously small number of troops in, in an enemy base before they'll attack it, even if they promise to attack. There's a bit of little baby Claudia. The problem is... So, somebody in the comments pointed out um, you know what, I, I should know who this is, and, and I can kind of picture your uh, icon. You cower over nothing, but not remember your name. Was it, um... I might have to scroll back through, uh... Carter Blue. Yeah, I thought it was Carter Blue. Carter Blue made the comment that it would make sense for you to attack since uh, now. Um... And he's saying some stuff about, uh... Cao Cao's motivations were what was going on with them, but he's he's making the argument that uh, since it's the largest and most threatening military force, but as an afterthought, he says uh, almost an afterthought. He failed to complete a task in heavenly lawful order by his Majesty. Now he must forfeit all force and territory. Refusal would mean death. He most likely, you want you would most likely be angry and fearful of Sun disobedience, and a small affront like this would be a death wish given the situation Yuan Shu is currently in, given his ego. Like, but I'm kind of like nitpicking now with exactly how what he's, but but no, like the broader idea is, you know what? It's, it raises a really good point, um, and I'm going to pronounce this wrong. Lay's Majesty, Lee's Majesty. What do you? Call it? It's the French term. But no, for Yuan, Yuan Shu is the emperor. Um, there are people who are historically recognized as emperors of China who ruled less of China than Yuan Shu does right now. And he has the imperial seal, and he has deposed the emperor. He's the emperor, right? Uh, Sun Tzu, maybe he never, like, you know, we, we, we haven't gone through a bunch of stuff, and, and RTK doesn't, doesn't really simulate the whole process of he would be offered a title, like Prince of some place or Duke of something, and accepting it would basically formalize him as being a uh, officer subordinate to Yuan Shu's empire, and he would then probably be asked to send one of his sons to Yuan Shu's court, where he would effectively be a hostage. And this is all stuff that happens. And Sun Quan accepted the title Duke of Zhuo, I think, from Cao Pi. But then later refused to send a hostage, which is when Cao Pi, Cao Pi demanded a hostage. Later, he refused and declared himself Emperor of Wu. Um, so yeah, Yuan Shu, basically, Sun Tzu was given an order to attack um, Bu Ling. And he accepted the order and said he was going to do it. And at this point, we've got um, JG hitting the wrong buttons. We've got JG making the wrong menu selections. We've got Sun Tzu, who is a regional governor. Uh, he's he has a request to attack Wu Ling, and there's two months left to complete it. There's also two months left on the alliance. They they end at the same time, so I could extend the alliance with him. Uh. I didn't do that off screen. Well, I'll explain what happened off screen for a minute. But no, we have basically we have in two months when the alliance ends, we have under the like rules of the Chinese society and nobility in these warrior classes, we now have a uh, legitimate reason to attack Sun Tzu, which was that 
he defied a command by the emperor. He is a traitor and a rebel. Even if we have, like, quote, normal or friendly or whatever relations after the alliance ends, he accepted an order from the emperor to attack Wu Ling, and he hasn't accomplished it. So I've been kind of playing around. My headcanon was that Yuan Shu considers Sun Tzu to be a subordinate. He doesn't really consider this red territory to be a different color. It's just something... To him, it's the same as uh, this district up here that's being run by Agman Marmarand. Um, but it ain't necessarily so. But uh, Yuan Chu might be disconnected from reality enough to believe that this this is territory that is, that's really loyal to him. But now Sun Tzu is the re like even in, even if we accept that Sun Tzu is the regional governor of this territory, and Yuan Chu considers his subordinate, and he will have failed to even attempt the order he was given to attack Liu Qi, which means we should be enemies. Um, I would still kind of like to deal with Liu Zhang at my leisure, but no, Sun Tzu is the only threat that's left on the map, really. And he is a threat, and I'll tell you why I know he's a threat. Off screen, I just like played ahead a couple of turns and actually let the month expire. But Cao Ren is in the middle of retreating to Shou Chun, and he happened to be in Sun Tzu's territory when the two months expired. I wasn't paying attention to Sun or to Cao Ren particularly. Um, well, to tell you the truth, I noticed he was going to be in his territory, but I kind of figured, well, we, we are, we're considered friendly. We won't have a, an official alliance, but we have friendly or trusted relations. So I figured as long as he doesn't attack anywhere, he would just move through. No, we instantly switched to hostile. Sao Ren's unit is hit with all these status ailments of, like, confusion, which I do remember that from RTK uh, 11. I was trying to cheat and have my troops ready to pounce. It's actually when I was playing as Shu, and I was trying to attack, um... I was playing as Liu Bei, and it, that was a... RTK 11 was an interesting uh, narrative in and of itself, but I had started out I think in Xinye, and had basically been forced to retreat from Cao Cao, but I did take over Shangyang, not Shangyang, yeah, Shangyang, and kind of took over the territories of Liu Xiao without first taking, you know, without first seeing Liu Biao's forces deposed. So when Liu Biao dies and Liu Kong takes over, eventually I wanted to expand here, so I formed an alliance with him and then marched up forces to be around one of his cities. And when the alliance ends, all of my units were hit with the confusion and retreat command. And it was like, okay, so the AI, basically the AI is not going to let you cheat. And fair enough, it seems like that would be an underhanded tactic you could use, but it's not something the computer AI is going to be able to deal with. So they, they kind of prevent you from being able to do it. But in this game, I was like, oh, okay. Well, so we instantly go hostile and Sauron's unit is hit with a bunch of debilitating stuff. So it wouldn't be useful to just launch an attack like that. But what was unexpected was my officer's loyalty across the board took a massive hit. And I had over a dozen uh, officers um, resign from the force on that turn. Like before I had an opportunity to reward anyone, they, they resigned. And I ended up losing dozens of officers. Li Jingming is the one I remember, but I had created officers leave the force. Uh, famous officers left. Liu Bei left. It took a while. Vulture Bean left, I think, right before I stopped. Because I, I wasn't saving. I knew I wasn't going to use it. It was insane. Uh, it was it was a bigger loyalty loss than we took, I think, that when uh, Yuan Shu deposed the Emperor. It was like minus 50 loyalty across the board. And even without another force uh, to join. And this is the thing that's it's interesting about this game. I don't know that they all work that way. Even with no other force to join, officers will just quit and become free officers if their loyalty is low. And probably if there might be a mechanic where if they're, um, what is the term that we just had it a second ago? The, um, it might be that if they have a different, uh, doctrine, they align slightly differently with the ruler and have different levels of loyalty that's required. But at any rate, I had... I had, and I'm not kidding, dozens of you, dozens of officers leaving the force over over that. So I'm not. going to have uh, Cao Ren go to Zhang Jia instead. Actually, Cao Ren, yeah, Cao Ren can go to Zhang Jia. 
um, because that was no good. <laughs> All right, so what else are we doing on this turn now? Um, kind of annoyed. I think this this happened on screen and not off screen that um, the Dream Master Huan Zhong was able to pop out and attack Vulture Bean, even though I had all these other company forces nearby. That's annoying, but it's it's a thing. We'll just have to deal. Um, and Yang An is going to fall without the aid of siege weapons once I get these troops in position. So I guess we're just going through and looking at our various orders. Sanction, let's do, let's do any uh, banquets before we go anywhere else. Jin Yang, there might be unrest. So Jin Yang's not going to be our problem for much longer. Uh, because it's maxed out on troops. Which is why we're certainly not going to recruit there. I didn't mean to actually uh, select all dragons unit there. Um, income one eight six seven. Expenditures two fifty two. I don't know why. Um, they don't have a lot of gold right now. Oh, they have a ton of officers. I'll tell you what. Let's just let, let's just go ahead. They don't usually offer us requisition gold unless it's actually kind of necessary. So, so 558. Now, what is the place looking like? How much order hit did we take there? 30 order hit for 500 gold. I don't know if that was worth it. But fairly soon we're going to be turning this place over to the computer to have a computer controlled district. So let's do banquets. 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 Banquet in Jinyang, which is the city with like all these new officers, so that was a good one to do it. Vulture Bean unit reinforce. Um, not really necessary. Am I actually going to do that one? Because uh, she did take some damage, but she's going to survive the siege and then park in the city anyway. We would basically be paying a gold premium to replace troops. Um, when unless I decide I need to make a mad rush to finish Wu Ling. And I might be curious to see if Xi Ji will attack Wu Ling for me now and actually fulfill his oath. Um, which would make it doubly important that we punish Sun Tzu for failing to do so. But, um... No, let's, uh, let's not actually uh, spend that gold. Um, so we'll go over to the Overseer proposals... Uh, investment, investment. Not seeing any place else where the core. Oh, there's. Well, that's Cho Chun, never mind. I mean, that's investment. Okay. Now we can do some rewarding. If I just did all of this, 5,700. Nah, there's, I can't. There's way too many people who are at like 98. I can't just be that lazy. Especially if there's any chance that we're about to have a big 50 loyalty hit, then it sounds like, oh, you should really make sure everyone's loyalty is topped off. No, I will run out of gold quickly, like in Ju Chang. I'll be transferring in gold constantly and won't be able to reward everyone every turn and I'll need to if suddenly the guys who are at 98 going down to suddenly being at like 48 or something 
I, I, I will need the gold to double up on other people instead. If that makes sense. I know it doesn't. I'm not explaining it right, but the point is I'm not spending the gold. He'll gladly accept it. Because he's a little scumbag. Uh, did I move up here? No, I don't have unspent total cost points here yet. Area training recruitment overseers have decreased. Don't ever start. Foil the enemy. Produces the effects of all scheme policies. Eventually, we want to start doing some schemes. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is all support policies. So that's... All domestics. All domestics. Oh, that's right. You can actually see the effective level. Registers at 10. These are at 8. Pen the sword is at 10. Armed forces is just at 5. Okay. <clears throat> this seems like a guy we haven't taught a lot to already. So let's waste a whole lot of tomes on this guy that we'll never use in battle. And suddenly become absolutely hopeless at manuing here. Switch to anyone else I don't recognize from. Oh, yeah, you on G here. You know, shit. Let's teach you some. St You're like, uh, you on G's nephew, I think. Let's have you learn some stuff. You like, you love Chuko Nu, which is kind of an interesting one. He's a Wu Huan ally. I think he's one of the two uh, sons of Yuan Shao who fought against each other. Um, after Yuan Shao died, thus guaranteeing that they would not be able to recover and stand against Tao Tsai. Like, after they'd already wasted uh, a lot of troops fighting each other, they did eventually decide to try to team up, but it was too late. They got crushed. I don't remember who this is. I don't think he's a Yuan Shao kid, but maybe he is. And whether this menuing is a good use of time or not is certainly debatable because we're just creeping up our fame score, which is certainly going to max out uh, by the time we take all of the cities. Oh, 1200, that was actually pretty sizable. Yinshu, how do you do? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Ying Xiao, I don't think we've taught a bunch of stuff to. But all I can really under surprise attack, that's fine. Yeah. Wang Bi, can you learn Inferno? You can. You are a vicious drinker and a flame, flame queller. Useful, useful to be a flame queller when you're also going around setting drunken infernos. Um, drunken inferno is, by the way, the nickname of Jingfei. 
Uh, anything else to do with this turn? I suppose we could... Um, we've already got people out trying to hire the Yuan Shao officers, including Yuan Chu. We want to try to personally hire Yuan Shao. Yuan Shang is now free. And can't be hired by Frox's Nilock. Xiao Ang can't be hired yet. Chen Jiao can't be hired by Lita's grandma. This guy's loyalty is pretty low. Reinhardt. I have no objection to this choice. No one is better suited to bring Reinhardt back to us. Alright, let's try it. Let's bring back anime, man. And then we will search whatever city is recommended for searching to see if we can get cool treasure. Which I will have to use if Cao Ren ends up in enemy territory at the end of um, important uh, times. Did that make sense? Might have to start throwing treasures around if we have this massive... Because it, it was weird, like that was a lot of uh, loyalty going down. I wonder if maybe it was connected with the fact that the force is already really large and... Um, people are, like, considering it an oppressive evil empire somehow. Don't know. But yeah, uh, suffice it to say, uh, we went to war, and I mean, it was starting to look like, particularly because I had officers defecting all over the place, it was looking like it was very realistic that Sun Tzu might take a city or two from me before I brought my force to bear. Like, uh, yeah, like with the troop counts we have in... Because some of these cities don't have particularly impressive troop counts. Some of them, too. But by the time we got armies rolling out of, like, Chen Liu and Zhu Chang, they were throwing everything at us. And it was po it, it was certainly possible that we were going to lose Zhang Jia or uh, Jiang Ling, which we had taken by that point. It didn't... It seemed to me like, okay... It, it really depended on, is it going to be a year cooling off period and then I can hire a bunch of officers back because that was going to make a huge difference as to whether or not we were going to be able to, um, like, make quick work of Sunsa or have it be a, okay, let's pull a lot of officers forward from these backwaters and, um really start cranking out army like we were going to win it was just it was a matter of is this going to be a huge setback because at this point bear in mind we've got a uh, sense outnumbered probably yeah it's, it's more than three to one so anyway but we've also got eggman mamarand uh just throwing troops with no food at uh, a million archer to arrow towers here. They are making progress. You can't say they're not making progress. But there's something going on where the AI is really confused about the pro proper way to use food at a Tian Shui. Please tell me your supply unit. Going to Tian Shui. You're sending a thousand troops, four thousand gold, and no supplies. Do you not have food either? You have some food. On Ding has a decent chunk of food. Chang'an has emptied out all of its troops, but it's got... 11 officers. Well, that's enough that it's probably... What they're doing is they're funneling everything down to Hong Zhang. Which now has crazy golden supplies, but damn, this is, this is not... And they're not taking any of these troops out of Bai Shui Gate. I left a lot more troops in there that were needed. Especially if nobody ever attacks. Whatever. Alright. So let's watch the fall of Jian Ling, which had been probably the biggest city in their force, more or less. This has been their capital, pretty much. Miju visited Uesugi Kenshin. 
Happy birthday to Izugi. Happy birthday to you. I can't even look at you right now. Very well. I will try to meet your expectations. Crazy demon helmet. Kiao Chan visited Lifu. Last in, first out, is that what that stands for? FIFO and Lifu? Would you ever consider serving our army? I'm sure your majesty would be very happy, T. I am happy to serve. Looking forward to it. Last in, first out. Inventory, uh, you know, evaluation techniques. Like, obviously, you guys know about those. Vulture Bean's leader has increased by one, overall 63. Six more points, Vulture Bean, and you've got... <laughs> That's my sister-in-law I'm talking about. Oh, I thought that meant you had taken the city. Okay, now they've taken the city. We have suppressed Zhang Li. We captured Liu Qi. I am prepared to do your worst. <coughs> well, let's think here. We showed mercy to Yuan Shao. This is the first son of Liu Biao. His life was threatened by his stepmother, who favored his younger brother Liu Zhang as his heir. Zhuge Liang advised him to take on the post of minister in Zhangjia, which saved his life. Eventually, he became the protector of the Jing province. His father, Liu Biao, was our enemy. Um, you know what? No. Yuan Shao, we, we spared Yuan Shao. He's our brother. But this guy, his father was already our enemy. We executed daddy. And this means we get to see Lord Liu Kong. The guy that I always think Doug's like Rembrandt. Eh, so, uh, sorry, Liu Qi. But uh, you're coughing your way to an earlier grave than you, even you expected. I lament my defeat. In November AD 198, ruler Liu Qi of Liu Qi Army has died. Foreign relations between Liu Qi Army and Zhang have declined. What the? Oh, Liu Kong must have died at some point. I, Liu Pan, shall carry on the work on behalf of my late relative Liu Qi. I'll bring you my prisoners. It would be nice if we can use this as an opportunity to negotiate with the enemy state. They got Jing Dao Rong, Wu Ju, Jiang Lang, Su Fei, Zhao Yan, Deng Long, Fu Guang, the Rizza, Lent. Ah, I was wondering if maybe the reason Liu Kong couldn't take over is because we already captured him. But that is not it. So let's see if we can capture or get the Rizza and Lent to work for us. Lent had been uh, probably the biggest uh, pain in our butt as far as the enemy officers go, other than uh, the Dream Master of Wang Zhang, who does not seem to be amongst those we captured. So let's try to employ. Hold on a second. Zhao Yan. Because his name, I always get him, because his name is close enough to Xiaoyan, I always get confused. He's an officer of Wei, served in obscurity until joining Cao Cao after he welcomed Emperor Xian. Xiao Yan showed great talent in government as an officer, helping regain control of Mao, Ma Chao's rebellion and Guan Yu's defeat. He served four others after Cao Cao, including Cao Pi, and became a chief minister before his death. Okay. Alright, so let's try to employ everybody. Do I look like I would serve you with my rippling chest muscles? Let me go. Failed to employ six officers, including Lent. How merciful of you! Only you can unite these realms! <laughs> and three officers, including the Rizza. The rest of these guys are going to jail. <laughs> Soldiers run in fear from Tuan Shui because they weren't given supplies. Yang Song's unit's morale is falling. It appears that Liu Pan is the one who succeeded Liu Qi and taken the position of ruler. According to the rumors, there's a vibe item in Runan. Shall we take a look? Recruited some people. 
Find Inferno Tomes. Akman Mamoran, I don't know what's going on with you, man. Um, you are having some trouble figuring out the supplies thing. I'm not saying I'm perfect with that, but um, you are seem to be repeating the same mistakes over and over. At any rate, that's going to be it for this video. When we come back next time, um, we have taken another city from Liu... Well, from Liu Pan. Maybe next time we'll open the video by looking into what happened there and what happened to Liu Kong. Catch you next time.